happen All in my phone, I got options And I don't wanna tell you to drop it But I don't wanna play your face what's up y'all it's your girl Paula and welcome back to my channel for another video as y'all can tell by the title today's gonna be a nail video slash a story time i'm gonna be doing a story time voiceover for y'all without further ado don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend to join the family y'all as y'all can tell by the title this is the time i fought my best friend y'all probably like girl why is you fighting your best friend it just had to happen so let's get straight into it so the morning of this day was a regular morning i had woke up around six o'clock in the morning i brushed my teeth got in the shower i got dressed and i was getting ready for school because for one me and my sister didn't go to the same school but we did head out at the same time because our school was far from our house so we used to have to get up hella early so around 6.50, sometimes 6.45ish, honestly, it really depended on the time we got ready and the time that the train was coming. So for me, I had to take a train and a bus to head to school with my sister. She had to take the train all the way to the last stop, and she used to have to hop on two different buses, y'all. So her way was hella longer than what the way I used to take. So she really was a trooper for real. So this morning, we head out around like 6.50, we walk to the train. Regular degular morning for us, making jokes, talking about what we're going to do after school. So we get on the train. I get off because I get to my stop. And once I get off my stop, I have to wait for a bus so I can go to school and then walk to the building. So basically, what I do is I put on my headphones and I listen to A Boogie, y'all. This was a rainy morning as well. I forgot to mention that. So y'all remember the vibes, especially for my New Yorkers. Y'all remember when A Boogie just first came out? Well, he didn't just first came out during the time this story time took place. But when A Boogie dropped, he was like the hottest nigga out in the city. I'm not going to lie. So everybody was bumping him like, what? So put on my headphones. I'm waiting for the bus. I get on the bus. So as I'm on the bus and I'm heading closer to the school, I hit up my friend Chelsea. And I'm telling her that I'm almost there because usually she would wait for me. So we could walk to school together. She also used to take a bus. They used to stop at that same bus station. So she used to sometimes wait for me. Or I used to wait for her, vice versa. It really depended on the day. So the walk from the bus stop to the school was like five or six blocks, y'all. So for me, it was a, lo a pretty long way. Also, I named the girl Chelsea, y'all. That is not her real name. So do not worry about it. So the bus finally gets to the bus stop, y'all. So I get off and it's Chelsea and she's also there with Hazel. So Hazel is also going to be a part of this story time. So no, that is not his real name. So Hazel and Chelsea were one of the two people that I used to hang out with mostly during middle school. I was really cool with a lot of people in my grade and a lot of people in my class. But I was closer to Hazel and to Chelsea. Welcome to the front of the school. There is nobody in front of the school because literally everybody's inside teaching and the students are inside learning we got there hella late right when we get there y'all know how when you're late into school they give you this pass this late pass but you have to go and get it so you could bring it to your teacher because they had already took attendance so that's basically what we had to do we had to go in the office and we had to go get our late passes so when we get into the office the first person we seen y'all was our dean so when our dean sees us in there she starts cracking jokes on us and stuff and we start cracking jokes back and then after that we get our late passes and we head to class we actually had math that morning so we get into our math class math was literally one of my favorite classes during middle school because i really enjoyed my teachers so fast forward the day is going by now we're on our way to social studies and at this point we just sitting down we doing our work it's like literally less than an hour to lunch in mind in certain classes we were allowed to sit wherever we wanted to but in social studies class we were not allowed to sit where we wanted to we had to be placed where the teacher told us so basically me and chelsea sat at the same table we didn't sit next to each other but she did sit at the same table as me and Hazel didn't. Chelsea looks at me and she asked me, she was like, do you know what's wrong with Hazel? I'm like, no, why? What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. Because y'all, we was he was fine when we got to school. Like he was his regular self joking. Literally just being himself. I wasn't seeing why she felt like something was wrong with him. But I guess she caught it and I didn't. So I'm like, I don't know, maybe something happened. Like we'll talk to him when we go to lunch or whatever. So whatever, we continue doing our work. And at this point, the bell rings, we get up, and we start getting ready to head to the lunchroom. Y'all know in middle school, they don't really take you to the lunchroom. You literally just walk out, and you head to the lunchroom. 
And I peep that Jesus is rushing out the door. Like, he literally was rushing out the door. So, I'm like, maybe he just wants to be alone. Like, let him fast walk. Like, we'll catch up to him when we see him, whatever. During lunchtime in my school, during middle school, we were not allowed to sit with other people. And what I mean by that is we were allowed to sit with our classroom during lunch. But we were not allowed to sit with other classrooms. So, we get to the lunchroom and we get to our table. We sit. So I noticed that Hazel wasn't sitting with us. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just ask him if something's wrong. Because y'all, if it was me, if something was wrong with me, he would do the same for me in that situation. Like if he noticed something was bothering me, if he noticed that I wasn't sitting with us or something, he would have checked up on me as well. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just go ask him. So I asked him if he was fine. And he told me that he was, that he just wanted to sit alone. So I was like, all right. So I go and I tell Chelsea, like, he said he, that he's fine, but he just wants to sit alone today. Like, he just wants to be by himself. But Chelsea thought that it was a little funny that he wanted to be alone because Hazel really was not the type of person that wanted to be alone. So it was just, like, weird. So throughout our lunch period, me and Chelsea was trying to make small talk with Hazel because he was not acting himself. Hazel literally never act like that. Hazel was literally the funniest, the sweetest, the kindest, the class clown, y'all. Like, he never shut up, to be honest, like... It was never that. The bell rings, and now we head upstairs. We're walking up the stairs. So the next period we had was art class. So regular routine, I get in the class, I sit in my seat, I put my bag down. But the difference in this class is, in this class, I got up and I started to hand out everybody's projects that we were working on. The teacher had our projects sitting on a rack to dry. So from our last time being in art class, we were working on a painting project. I think it was called watercolors. If I'm not mistaken, it was like a watercolor art project that we were working on. I go to that rack and I get everybody's projects that we were working on and I start handing them out. Mind you, the teacher is outside of the classroom, y'all, talking to the other art teacher. So she's not even inside of the class yet. And the reason she wasn't outside of the class and she was still talking to Mr. F was because of the simple fact that students were still coming inside of the classroom. Like everybody wasn't in class yet, not for his class and not for her class. So she was still out there. But most of our class was already inside of the classroom, which is why I went and handed out the project. So in this class, you could sit where you want. Like, the teacher didn't appoint you to seats. Like, she wasn't strict. Like, it was literally art. It was fun. So usually in our table, it used to be me, Chelsea, Hazel, and three other people. And we was very cool with those other three people. So I get to my table to place my project down, hand Chelsea her project, and hand Hazel his project. But at this point, Hazel is not sitting down. He's standing up, y'all, because he went to go sharpen his pencil. So I hand Chelsea her project, and I go to Hazel to hand him his project, y'all. Mind you, I also have a few other projects left. So I'm just, hand I have my handout handing him his project with, and the other stack of the papers were, like, right in front of my chest, kind of. And I'm just, like, holding them, right? So I have my handout, and then... Y'all, Hazel literally does a gesture with his pencil, like, trying to stab me. So, at first, I thought he was playing, and I, like, laughed. And I don't know why, y'all, in situations, I just laugh because I don't know. It's just literally what I do. The first thing I do is laugh. So, as I'm laughing, I'm like, what are you doing? So, I'm like, what are you doing? And he literally does the same thing again. Like, he has his fist, like, his, his fist up with the pencil in it. Like, and does the gesture, like, if he's trying to stab me. So, I'm like, wait, is he trying to, like, it clicked in my head. I'm like, hold, wait. So, y'all, why Hazel does it a third time? I was like, oh, fuck no. I was like, don't fucking do it. Ooh, I can't curse that much. I was like, don't do that. I'm going to say it, the very PG version. Then I'm going to snatch my corn. I'm like, are you out of your mind? So, y'all, I go place the rest of the projects that I had in my hand. I placed them down on the table. I go to my bag and get the umbrella that I had. Because, like I told you in the beginning... It was raining that day. I get my umbrella, y'all. I go to him, and I start beating him with the umbrella. Like, don't, like, I was his mama. Don't ever do that again to me. Like, you know when your mama hit you and she, like, starts sounding stuff out? That's exactly what I was doing. I was like, don't ever think it's okay to try to stab me. Just like that. After I start beating him with the umbrella, obviously the umbrella breaks on him. So one of my other friends, we go name him Orange. So, Orange was saying, no, like, stop. Come on, guys. Like, stop, stop. Chelsea already peeped that he was mad. We just didn't know why he was mad. Like, I was like, here, Hazel, when I was handing him his project, all of a sudden, that's when he did that that, that, that gesture that he was going to stab me thing. Other than that, we didn't say nothing to each other other than me asking him if he was okay during lunchtime. So, I was confused. I'm like, wait, what? 
back to the story. Mind you, this is happening fast, y'all. So we, like, getting into it, getting into it. So when Arlen Sheets is, like, fighting, he, like, tries to stop it. He's like, ooh, I keep saying his name. So he's like, Hazel, like, stop. Don't hit her. She's a female. Like, don't do that type shit. And he, um, Orange goes and he grabs me. So when he grabs me, me in the heat of the moment, y'all, I was so mad, so heated. Wanted to fight Hazel. I pushed Orange, and Orange falls, and he gets a big, automatically, y'all, like, he fell, and he hit the table, and his arm starts bleeding, like, a big-ass mark. I was like, oh, oh my God. So, when he fell, I was like, oh, my God, because automatically, I see him bleed, and the thing was, he was trying to stop me, and I pushed him, trying to get away from him, trying to go to Hazel. So, I'm like, damn, mind y'all. The teacher is still not in the classroom. Like, she's literally still not in the classroom. And me, I'm going off. I'm cursing out Hazel. And I'm like, don't think that's okay. Like, you're mad weird for that. Don't do stuff like that. I do not play like that. Do not play with me like that. That's not okay. So, and I know I'm saying it the very PG version. Like, I told y'all, they's not finished. That's my coin. So, I'm not going to be cursing on this. But I was on 10. Like, I was literally super, super, super mad, y'all. I was, that pissed me off really bad. Because how dare you? The whole thing just ended up dying. Me and Hazel basically stopped fighting once we saw that Orange got cut. Because, y'all, he got cut real bad. Like, he started beating real bad. And honestly, what's crazy is how the teacher didn't hear all of that going on. And she was by the door. But what's even more weird is she literally looked in the door. Like, she looked in the door while we was fighting. And she didn't do anything. Which is so funny to me. So this, I always talk to my sister about this story. And I find it so funny because, girl, what? What? <laughs> like, girl, she literally didn't say nothing. Like, when she came back in the classroom, she literally asked, like, what happened if we were okay? And then nothing. But, all right, I'm 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 getting ahead of myself. Um, So, we stopped fighting. And Hazel, he goes sit at a different table. Like, he don't say nothing to me. Like, he goes and he sit at a different table. And then, boom, the teacher comes in. So, we didn't really say much to each other. Like, why start a commotion when the teacher come in? Mind you, she didn't say nothing when we was doing the whole fighting thing. And we saw her look at us. Like, Chelsea was like, stop. Like, miss whatever is looking. Like, miss whatever is looking. Mind you, but her, I guess her important, her conversation with Mr. F was more important. So, Hazel come, he sat at a different table. And when the teacher come in, she asked us, like, what happened and if we're okay. I was like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, nothing happened. Like, we're fine. So, Hazel didn't say nothing at all. I'm in my head. I'm mad. Like, y'all, I'm mad as shit. Because I didn't know what was Hazel's problem. Like, fast forward. At this point, it's literally almost time for dismissal. I think we had one more period after art class. Maybe two more periods. No, we had one more period after art class. And then it was time to go home. So, when the bell rings and we get out of art class, Hazel literally tries to rush his way out to try to talk to me. The first thing Hazel says to me is, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Da da da. So I'm like, no, like, you're very weird. Mind you, like I told y'all earlier, when Hazel, the first time he did the gesture, I like laughed. Like, the only reason I laughed was because Hazel was this type of person where he played too much all the time. And when I realized his face was serious and he wasn't playing, that's what pissed me off. Anyways, y'all, back to what he was saying. So he was basically apologizing, telling me he's sorry. And he was like, and so he was basically saying sorry, how he didn't want to lose me as a friend. Y'all, why Hazel turn around and say, I was mad because you hugged old boy. Me and him aren't talking right now. So I'm like, what? He was like, yeah, me and I'm not going to give the boy a name because he doesn't really need one. He was like, yeah, me and old boy are basically in an argument. We're not talking right now. And you gave him a hug. Y'all, when I'm telling y'all, I was literally standing there in like this, what the, what the fuck face? Like literally, I was like, what? So if y'all not catching on, this whole time, Hazel had an attitude with me because I hugged his man and they were in an argument, y'all. He did not even tell me that they were in an argument for me to know Oh, okay, not to hug him. And anyways, Hazel literally just kept apologizing to me. He kept saying how he felt dumb and how he didn't want to lose and how he didn't want to lose me as a friend and 
etc etc y'all i'm not gonna lie i did become back friends with hazel i did not talk to him right after that day i didn't because just because what like how do you expect me to know this information if you did not tell me that information so yeah maybe like two days later a day later probably i became back friends with hazel just because it was just like why keep a grudge (laughs) i don't know maybe i'm too forgiving or something but i'm not gonna lie besides that hazel never ever did anything like to cross me he never did nothing grimy to me but that one gesture was a little weird i'm not gonna lie it was 100 percent weird and he got his ass whooped because of it but yeah that happened years ago and i didn't hold it against him I was literally still cool with him the following year, years after that. And, yeah. I don't speak to Hazel anymore, and I don't speak to Chelsea anymore. Well, we only text for our birthdays. Actually, me and Hazel only text for our birthdays. Me and Chelsea don't really talk anymore. But, yeah, y'all. That's the story about the time I had to beat my friend's ass. Like, I really had to do it because I don't know who he thought he would... I don't know who he thought he was playing with. Anyways, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I am out. Did y'all like the nails? Comment down below if y'all like the nails. I love y'all so much. And I'm out for real this time. Peace.